Alright, so the first thing that I do is start up the car, listen for any sounds, uh, make sure it's running okay, and once you've kind of established a baseline, then you can get started. So we're going to shut the car off and disconnect the negative battery. The next step is to pull out the mass airflow sensor. The way you do that, pull that red tab out, you push this in, and it'll just slide right off. On some models, there's a drain line under here, uh, but this one there is not a drain line. So the next step is to loosen this hose clamp, and then pull on the air box to dislodge it. And you can actually just pull it out. Next step is to loosen this front motor mount. Now we're going to install this bracket. You don't want to install this uh, tight just yet. You want it to be a tiny bit loose so you can get the final adjustment. Next step is to remove the mass airflow sensor. Two Phillips screws. And we can install it in our K&N unit. Okay, and then there's some uh, assembly that I did inside, a little bit of pre-assembly. Um, put some bolts together and put the heat shield guide on. And then uh, I gotta finish screwing this together. But yeah, I did this inside last night. Save some time out here. And so the next step is to loosen this hose clamp down here, just so you can turn this and get it adjusted. And now we're ready to mount the unit. So I put a bag in here, just cause it's a uh, very uh, high season for pollen. Let us here. Make sure your uh, bolts are in down here. Now you can start to tighten everything up. Next step is the actual filter. Next step for me is the pre-filter. Next step is to connect the mass airflow sensor. And now we're ready to connect the battery and test it out. Just want to check for any leaks. I don't hear any. So looks like we're all set. We'll do some road testing and uh, see if we like it.